Hello and thank you for looking at this load cell instrumentation amplifier by DLC Systems. This load cell amplifier has been specifically designed to deal with industrial load cells and other low output sensors such as current sensors, pressure sensors, flow sensors, firm couples and force gauges. The specifications of the amplifier are as follows. It uses a 16-bit differential ADC made by Texas Instruments, the ADS1118, just here. It has 65,500 output values. An analog device's AD8553 precision instrumentation amplifier is being used to amplify the low level voltage up to a level that can be read by the ADC. It has a high accuracy 4.096 voltage reference output for sensor biasing such as load cell excitation voltage. A preset gain of 250 times or an adjustable gain of 1 to 1000 times can be set. To use the preset gain of 250 times, set this jumper to the upper position. To use an adjustable gain, set this jumper to the lower position and adjust the gain with this 23 turn trim pot here. The ADC uses a simple SPI interface which can easily be interfaced to an Arduino or other microcontroller to get the samples out and to set up the configuration registers within the ADC. An additional programmable gain of 1, 2, 4, 8 or 16 times can be set within the ADC through the SPI port. The board is a small 50 by 30 mm size. It comes pre-assembled and tested. Here is an application example for the load cell amplifier. I wanted to graph the thrust curve of Estes model rocket motors. To do this I bought some low cost electronic scales for around £10. I took apart the scales and inside is a single shear type load cell. I disconnected the load cell from the PCB inside the scales and connected them to my load cell amplifier here. I have already mounted an Arduino Uno in a case and mounted everything on a sheet of wood so it can be clamped down securely for the testing. Simply connect the load cell to the load cell connector on the amplifier and then connect the SPI port to the Arduino Uno. All of this fits inside this case to keep it clear from any exhaust coming from the motor. The easiest way to use the load cell is to use the library I've written for the Arduino and the example sketches. Download the Arduino library from our eBay page and also download Arduino if you have not already. Once you've downloaded the library, navigate to it and also navigate to the Arduino program. In macOS and the same in Windows, you'll need to navigate to the Arduino program, open up uh, the Arduino program itself. You need to navigate into Contents, Resources, Java, and then Libraries. Copy the Arduino library into the Libraries folder within Arduino, as you can see I've already done so. Now start up Arduino. You'll need to close it if it was already open, so it registers the new library. Once you have Arduino installed, the Arduino library I've written installed, and an Arduino connected to the load cell amplifier and an Arduino connected to your computer with a USB cable. Open up Arduino and go to File, Examples, Load Cell, Raw Tester, as we are about to calibrate the load cell. Now to do this you are going to need a calibrated mass. Well, for this purpose I have a bag of sugar which I know weighs exactly 1011 grams. We open up the Raw Tester example Make sure that this line here, line 14, that this number here, amp, is set to 7, or the chip select pin which you are using, in my case 7. This sketch is going to output the raw value 100 times or 10 times a second, 100 milliseconds apart. Now, if we upload this to the Arduino and then open up the serial monitor. When you do this, make sure there is nothing on the load cell which will affect the mass. So, we open up, make sure auto scroll is ticked, and we're at the correct board rate, which is 115,200. Now, we should see this value round about zero. Now if we open up the serial monitor once uploaded, we should see the value hovering around about zero. 
doesn't have to be exact because it will be inherent noise within the load cell itself. Not within the load cell amplifier, but within the scales. Now if we put our calibrated mass onto the load cell, we should see the value jump up. We'll let it sit there for a couple of seconds and now pause the serial output. Now we see what range do we have. We have between 29,010 and 29,020. I'm going to split the difference, we'll call that 2915. Um, now, we need to work out the number of bit, the number of grams per bit. Now to do this, we take the number of grams, 1011, and divide that by the number of bits, 2915. This gives us a value of 0 0.346826. Now, if we open up the example load cell serial output and set this gain value right here to that value, and that was 346826. 346826. Now, again, we need to make sure that this pin here is set to 7. Speed is the um, board rate of the serial port is set to 115,200. This value right here on line 32 will set the frequency at which this sketch will output a value. This is the interval of milliseconds, so 4 milliseconds will correspond to three, uh, 250 times a second, which might be a little bit faster, let's change that to 10 or 100 times a second, still very fast. Now then, let's upload this to the Arduino, make sure we don't have anything on the load cell, because when it powers up it will tear. Open up the serial monitor, tick auto scroll. And this is correct. This is floating around about 0, plus 2, minus 2, min plus 4, minus 4. About good. Now if we put our calibrated mass on, you should see this go to 1011 grams. 1011, 1004, 1010. This is close enough. Now we are ready for rocket testing. Once you have the load cell all connected up to an Arduino and the Arduino connected to a computer with a USB cable, open up Arduino and go to File, Examples, Load Cell, Raw Tester, as we are about to calibrate the load cell. Now, you need to check that this box right here is set correctly. This is the chip select pin of the load cell. You need to connect this up to a pin of the Arduino and make sure this is correct. I'm using pin 7 here. Now, what this sketch will do is every 100 milliseconds, or 10 times a second, it will print the raw value out to the serial port. This raw value will be teared, or zeroed, at power on. So when you upload the code and the Arduino restarts, make sure there is nothing on the load cell which will affect the reading. So, upload this to the load cell. Now, to calibrate the load cell, you will need a known weight. Now, I have a bag of sugar, which I know to be precisely 1,011 grams. After you've uploaded the raw tester sketch to your Arduino, open up the serial monitor, make sure auto scroll is tick, make sure you're running at 115,200 board. Now, Make sure that the value displayed here is around zero. It doesn't need to be exactly zero because there'll be inherent noise within the actual load cell itself, not within the load cell amplifier. It's inherent to the actual load cell, which is why most kitchen scales do a lot of very heavy averaging. Now, place your calibrated mass on the load cell. And as we can see, this jumps up to around, if we pause this, 2,903 to 2,895. Let's call that 2,900. Now we need to work out the number of bits per gram. If we also open up the serial output sketch by going to File, Examples, Load Cell, and Serial Output. The value we're interested in here is the gain, or kilograms per bit, or grams per bit. Now we know that we have 1,011 grams. To work out the number of grams per bit, we divide that by how many bits we read. Now if, you're, if we go back to the serial monitor here, we know that we're reading 2,900 bits for 1,100 
for 1011 grams. So what we do is 1011 divided by 2900, which gives us a value of 0.348620. Let's enter that into the serial output example. 348620. Double check that. Yes. Now, if we take our mass off and upload this to our Arduino, wait for it to upload and make sure there's no mass on the scales when it restarts. Open up the serial monitor. Make sure that we check this value here is the, the correct chip select pin on the Arduino. Once this is done and the gain is set correctly, upload this to the Arduino. Again, make sure there is absolutely no load on the scale at this time and open up the terminal. Now, if we place the mass on there, we should see the value of 1011 grams, which on average is roughly what we see. Again, a little bit of noise here is not to worry about. We're only talking about 0.1-0.2% noise, which is okay for a very fast reading scale like this. Now we're ready to do some rocket testing. Okay. Right, and now we want to untick the auto scroll button, select some data at the bottom, and scroll up to where the top of the data is, and the start of the uh, rocket test. Hold shift and click to select all the data. Copy the data, open a new text file, convert it to a text only document, save it uh, with a sensible name. We're testing B64 here, so we'll save it as that. Now that we have our data, it's nice to look at it. So I've imported it into Grapher, which is a software included in macOS, but you can use Excel or Numbers or LibreOffice or whatever to import the CSV style data and uh, form a graph out of it. As you can see here, we have very fast data coming out. 